another Renaissance hat, huh? You need your pillow. Yeah. historical fashion friends. Today we are going to be doing a trial run practice of a kirtle and I'm making it in one day. Uh, you might see I'm wearing it already but uh, this is for future me doing an intro for past me and I'm going to be testing out a bodice pattern using an interesting method where I lie down and trace myself onto uh, the pattern paper and kind of work the pattern out from there, which I think can be really simple for a lot of people and not require you buying a bunch of books and stuff. Um, I did use a book, I used the Tudor Taylor, but just for seeing what the pattern should look like. So let's get started. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and let's get to making our new Renaissance style kirtle. So what I did was I literally laid on the ground and then <laughs> traced around my body and then um, I added a little bit on the side and I'm going to add a seam allowance after and basically trace the shape based off of this book. This looks a little wider than me but I think it's because it probably is for somebody who's wider than me. Um, and then I, for the first one I'm making, I think I'm gonna do a hooks and eyes front closure. So I'm going to basically like add a part that's going to fold over uh, to strengthen it for each side and then just add the hooks and eyes and I'll make one of these a little longer so it can overlap. Crazy boy. Crazy boy. I thought I was recording all of that, but it didn't record. Anyway, I had made a basic shape, and then I kept testing it against myself and adding pieces on until it seemed correct. And uh, now we're gonna cut it out. So I folded my fabric in half and I'm gonna make the skirt and I'm gonna use three panels for the skirt, I think. And then one of the panels will be for the uh, bodice. So yeah, fold it both in half and I'm just gonna cut them down the middle.
Uh, apparently my phone does not want to take video today because it shut off again, so I just pinned these and cut them out and left seam allowance and now I'm going to do the same from my linen lining fabric. So what I'm going to do for this is sew it on these sides and then flip it inside out. Basically sew this as one piece, this each of these as separate pieces and then sew them together by hand on the side seams. Um, usually, more historically, you would have turned them both under and kind of whip stitched around. Uh, but in the interest of time, trying to do this in one day, I am going to do it the other way. And then I'll just have to stitch up the uh, waistband by hand, which will be a lot better. And yeah, it's gonna be super quick. So for strength, I am just cutting out a piece that will go in the front, not in the sleeve portion, just the front of the uh, bodice. And I'm just gonna put that in between the other layers. Okay, so I sewed my pieces together and flipped them inside out, and I left the bottom open uh, to finish them. So now I'm just going to stitch the sides to each other and then after that i will start working on the skirt and see how the top fits Okay, so the top is complete, and I realized I didn't make the straps long enough, so good thing I did this mock-up. Uh, I just put eyelets so I could still use it and tie it, and the front is a little slanted. I think in my other version, I'm going to make it go, like, straight. This is fine for this, and... Uh, the point doesn't match up exactly right now, but I think once I put the skirt in, it probably will. Because there'll be a lot more bulk underneath. Yeah. It's a little wrinkly, but I think when the skirt is pulling on it, it might smooth that out. We'll see. cottagecore curdle slash curdle mock-up practice for my many curdles that I have coming up. I will be doing a boned, a uh, reed boned curdle in a similar style but with uh, sleeves that match up top. And then I'm going to be doing a blue one for a uh, six, late 16th, early 17th century bell costume that I'm making. And then I will be moving on to some Elizabethan bodies, which I'm really excited about, and also a Sleeping Beauty Aurora cosplay, which I am really looking forward to. And I hope you all join me, hit the subscribe button, and thank you all for watching this video and uh, trying out making a new type of kernel with me.